Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd do a what's in my bag video because I love watching these videos on YouTube. So I thought I would do one myself. Now, I keep my handbag inside the original bag it came in and I actually put it in my wardrobe. I hang it up in my wardrobe. Um, so I don't know if that's weird. Let me know if you do that. <laughs> I just like doing that. I'm not sure why. So this is my handbag. Well, the one that I'm carrying at the moment because I do have a few. I've got a black one, a brown one, you know, different colors. But I'm loving this color at the moment and I find that it's been matching my outfits. So it's a medium sized Pierre Balmain Pierre Balmain, Pierre Balmain, I don't know how to say his name. Um, he makes perfumes as well. Um, so this is like a, a tan, beautiful, beautiful leather, um, soft, thick leather handbag. So it's a beautiful size and it's got two handles like that. So you carry that and I think it's got... Yeah, it does. I've got it in my bag, actually. It's got two of these on the sides where you can put, you can attach the longer strap. And look at this. I just wanted to show you this. Isn't that so cute? I got this from Estee Lauder when I put, purchased uh, one of their fragrances. And um, it's so cute. It matches my handbag. And there were a few different ones you could choose from. And I chose this gorgeous lion. Okay, let's have a browse and see what is in my bag. You're going to find a few makeup items and perfume items. And that's probably expected um, from a makeup and perfume lover like me. Okay, so I love to keep my bag tidy and clean. I don't like to throw receipts in there or anything like that. Um, and I keep things in bags. And I think it's a great idea because you can just, if you want to use another handbag that day, you can just, you know, take this out and put it in your other bag and you're good to go. So, first thing is this, the handle that I was talking about. You just clip it on if you want a longer strap. I haven't used this yet, but you never know when it might come in handy. Um, what else? My purse. My purse, I keep my cards in here, obviously, and my money. Um, I also keep my phone in here, but I'm using it to record this video. So in this part, I have the Panadol um, Rapid, because you never know when you're going to cop that headache. So that's a that's one that, that I use. And um, I've also got eye drops, which I think I think they are expired, so I'm going to have to throw them out. But I like keeping eye drops in my bag because sometimes it's really windy and I get really sore, dry eyes. So that's a good thing to have in my handbag. And then I keep one of these bags in there as well because it's my snack bag. I mostly keep like bananas or um, cut up vegetables or carrots and things like that. Or fruit and nut chocolates, a lolly. So yeah, you know, snack on the go if you need to, if you're getting hungry or something, you know. Just put that in there. And I keep it in here in this bag so I don't just throw them in there so that you know sometimes the chocolate melts and that and it goes in your bag so I'll keep it in this little zip bag okay what else can we see we can see two other bags let's open this one first so this one is also by from Estee Lauder I also got this because I purchased um, one of their fragrances okay first thing I can see is a pad <laughs> I think every woman has that should have that in her bag anyway 
Um, next thing is, uh, I always keep one of these. This is the Pandora polishing cloth. And what I like to do is I like to clean my watch with this because sometimes I notice that when I spray perfume next to this area, I notice that sometimes it can get a little bit, you know, discolor. It can just discolor a little bit. And I like using these um, to clean my watch. Also, got this one. This is the Mega Cosmetica um, Hydrating Cream. And I like to use this in summer because it's got, it's, it acts like a sunscreen. So it's a good one. Okay, this one is a New Zealand natural um, lip gloss. And sorry, not lip gloss, lip balm. And I keep this one in here in particular because it smells absolutely delicious. Oh my god, it smells so delicious. It smells like fruits and cream and punch and vanilla. It just smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, so I always have one bottle of nail polish in here just in case. My tweezers. Always have a hand cream. This one is a Crabtree and Avalon Pomegranate Argan and Grapeseed Hand Cream. I always tend to have dry hands for some reason. And today, look, they're all scratched because of Tallulah. She loves to play. She's so cheeky. Uh, nail clippers. Um, this, what is this? The Estee Lauder Daywear Cream as well. I think that's a moisturizing cream actually. Protection. Yeah, day wear. So it's a it's a day it's a day cream. And I love these sizes, they're so cute. Nail file, Revlon nail file. Um this is a mirror. Isn't it beautiful? So it's a mirror. And then I have the sample size of the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. You can never have too many moisturizing creams. <laughs> uh, two more things. I've got dental floss, teeth for teeth, and this fragrance. Now this one is called Blue Eyes by Rampage. And it's a 30 ml bottle. Now, I don't use this on myself. I actually spray this as soon as I go in my car. So it smells identical to Giorgio Armani Light Blue. It smells exactly like it, but it's not, you know, it's not expensive at all. I think I got it for like $3. I'm not sure if, yep, yeah, that's focusing there. I got it for like three dollars unbelievable so what I like to do is yeah I spray my car and when I go shopping I sometimes go into the change rooms and I try some clothes on and stuff and I think most of us do that and I just like to spray this perfume before and after I leave the change room or in the bathroom or something like that if you need to go somewhere spray spray some perfume you know I mean, I've been into change rooms and they just literally stunk. So this is what I do. I always keep this, or, you know, or a 30 ml bottle in my bag for that purpose. Okay, let's see what's in the other golden bag. Actually, before I do that, because I think you can see what's in there already. So let's talk about this this <laughs> okay first of all my perf my bag smells incredible incredible guys because I have I, I really don't know how many I have but I'll just show you I've got all 
of these um, sample strips, paper paper strips that I've used. So what I what I do is after I try a perfume on these pieces of paper, I don't throw them out. I don't throw them out. I just literally chuck them in my bag like this and close my bag. The next day you do not want to close your bag. That's how good it makes your bag smell. So whenever you go shopping and you, and you get those paper strips and you try on some fragrances, don't throw them out. Keep them in your bag and they will make your bag smell absolutely gorgeous. And right now my bag is like oh, amazing. It smells, actually it smells very animalic and musky. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's what I do with those. Okay. In this bag, it's a Guerlain bag as well. And I got this with a free gift uh, with purchase. So the first, it's it contains my makeup, all my makeup items. I keep the main like um things that i might need during the day like i don't have my whole makeup you know stash in here this is like the necessities or something like that so i can already see a few brushes um sigma angle top kabuki and makeup you know sigma pencil as well so these two and i've got i'm pretty sure i've got one more in there yes I do it's the makeup geek um, what is this pointed crease okay so it's got some product on there so two eye two eye ones and one for the face and I, I hardly use those it's just for you know an emergency or something like that Okay, next thing I have is my mascara. I can never live without my mascara. This is like so important to me. And it's the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. And it's my absolute favorite mascara. So I always have this in my bag. Always. Like I can never be without mascara. So the next thing I have is this Ben Nye. Um, this is is cream foundation and it's just a little I love the size and I love this so it acts as everything actually I it acts as a concealer it acts as a cream like it for a touch-up um, perfect size so I keep that in there um, just a blush compact blush two colors Um, what is this? Oh, this is the Becca. Um, I think this is like a highlighter. Yep, that's the color there, and it's nearly done actually. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, wow, look at that! Beautiful. So, that one as a highlighter. This gorgeous little thing, the Le Petit Robe Noir, these are the um two lipstick testers so in red heels and pink tie and they've got this little cute the brush that comes along with it it's so cute so I'll keep that in there I have not used it yet actually but because I've got this one by Bobbi Brown um, it's lipstick as well so it's got three lipsticks in there and the brush as well and it's got a mirror up here, but I'm not going to point it because the lighting is, you know, it will reflect in that. So, yeah, I like how it's got their, you know, own little lip brush here and beautiful colours in there as well. So I'll keep that. Also have these two by Tarte. They're the Tartiest Lip Paint. light color dark color and they are awesome and they're so cute and small and perfect one's a gloss and one's matte 
So keep those in there. I love this. This is the Carmex Moisture Plus. Cannot live without this. It's a lip balm, but it's kind of got a little bit of a color to it. Just a little bit. So, so it's kind of sticky and it's got like a beautiful, beautiful soft color and it smells good. Gorgeous as well. It smells so good. Mm. It smells yummy. Okay, a few other things. I have an eyebrow pencil. This is the Elevate Brow Pencil by Sigma. Not sure why it's not focusing. Focus. Anyway, it's the that color. This is a really good pencil actually because you can actually draw the lines like and they look like real hair so it's really good. A few more things. Um, a black eye pencil cannot live cannot live without a black eye pencil. So black eye pencil mascara and I'll show you one more item that I cannot live without. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Intense Kajal Eyeliner. In black and this is something that I can't live without as well the eyelash curler cannot live without this it's the shoe shoe mirror eyelash curler so I keep that in there and I think I've got one more one more thing in there it's the Dior this is the small compact the eyeshadow compact it's got a few beautiful colors in there and they're so good I love the colors and it's cute size so that's what was in this bag so that was my makeup bag my essential makeup bag now going back to my original handbag I've got one more thing one more zip here and it's got my perfumes not my, my perfumes, my samples, perfume samples, or little mini, like this one. It's a pocket spray, the um, Choco Musk by El Rehab. The 18ml is in this, just perfect. Just perfect. It's plastic, so it doesn't break or anything like that, and you spray it like, I'll show you. Spray it like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, <laughs> but you spray it like that. Oh, yum. So I've got the Choco Mask and I've got this in the Elena, also in 18 mils. So this is a rosy floral and this is a chocolate gourmand. Oh, yum. Some sprayed on my um, hand. Oh, yum. Okay, and then I've got some samples. Now, this is what I do. I keep these samples in my bag. I don't like I don't like these. I, not that I don't like them or dislike them. I just don't love these and I don't have bottles of them. By the way, I just I used to have this one, but I gave it away because I didn't like it much and it doesn't last on my skin, so I don't like that. Um so I keep these because if I go out somewhere and I want to respray my perfume or, or just spray, you know, I tend to use these because these go well with people. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're not they're they're people friendly fragrances, you can say. So I don't spray my niche perfumes. I don't. I do carry some. I'll show you. But I don't wear them if, say, I'm going to my mother-in-law's house or just shopping or running errands or anything like that. I, I tend to spray these ones on if I don't already have perfume on. Um, because people tend to like these kinds of fragrances and they're just people friendly. And just for everyday kind of perfumes. Because if I spray some niche fragrances or you know and I go out 
to the shops, I know that people are just going to, you know, <laughs> look at me funny or wrinkle their nose like, what the hell is she wearing? So I do like to spray these when I go shopping or something like that. Most of the time I'm fragrance free when I go shopping because I need to try fragrances. So I don't wear anything. But afterwards, if I need to spray, then yes, I do spray these ones. And I'll always change. Like this time I've got three of these ones. Next time I'll have something different. Okay, and then I have this little baggie. These are my niche samples. Now, these I, I carry with me because these are samples that I've tried at home. And I just keep them in there to retry. Um, like if I'm at my mum's or anything like that, I do wear these. Because they're just used to me smelling really weird, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, because sometimes when you try perfumes in your house, they they tend to smell different when you're outside in, you know, the fresh air. So sometimes it's a good idea to try these out as well. So I carry each time it's different. And I try them, I retry them just to see if I need to get bottles of them. So I've got the Kimi Alchemia, um, Oud Velvet Mood by Maison Francis Kirkjian. I've got Blue Sapphire by Boa, 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 Boa. <laughs> Blue Sapphire by Boadicea, the Victorious. I adore this one. I have tried it a few times. <gasps> adore it. Adore it. So it might be a bottle purchase. Um, Mortal Skin by Stephanie Humbert Lucas. Yes. And I've got a little, a little cute mini of Oud Wood. Love this stuff. This is the older formula. I recently tried the newer one. It smells a little bit, actually a lot different. I prefer the old one, but I'm not sure where I'm going to get an old bottle from. Because I love it so much. Black by Pure Distance. I've got Lyric Man by Amouage. I love wearing this one myself. Um, my husband didn't like it because he's, he thought it was too feminine. It's a rose kind of fragrance. But I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a bottle because it gives me a headache. Um, Garuda by Jules Mard love this love 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 this one so that's what I do I keep my niche ones safely here and you know when I'm out or wherever I am I like to retry them but just on my own or you know with people that I know not just random strangers because they'll think that I stink anyway that was all. That's all, I think. Yep, I've got nothing else in there. So that was all that I had in my handbag. Um, so tell me what you carry, because I'd like to know. I have watched quite a few videos, and it's interesting to see what people carry in their handbags. Um, some people are very simplistic, and they just carry, like, their, their purse or you know just essential very little things but I think because you know us perfume lovers or makeup lovers we tend to over carry sometimes I don't know but uh, let me know what you carry in your bag and um, thank you so much for watching guys and I hope I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time bye bye